welcome back welcome back to my channel mrs always lovely amajes and today i'm going to do a um a get ready with me chit chat video and of course i have like a few things i want to say um first thing hold on a second okay so i have been doing this is like the second time i recorded this video anyway the first thing that I want to talk about is I have been doing a lot of research on my channel. Well, not my channel, but other people's channel, like trying to get like some, you know, <clears throat> advice and stuff like that, which barely I think I'm going to rely on myself because, um, like I was trying to see like how do you gain subscribers and stuff and one um lady i don't much remember her name um she was just like just ask just ask people you know go and support their channel and you know just leave a comment and be like subscribe to my channel after you watch the video like i kind of feel like it's not rude like going on someone's video if they have the same amount of subscribers as you like someone who has who doesn't have a lot of subscribers as i do i mean like just you want to find people who have small amounts of subscribers because you guys can't help each other and you know go look at their videos and if it's something that you like to do y'all should you subscribe to their channel watch their videos and ask them to subscribe to yours like I don't see like there's anything wrong with that but anyway I was up all morning watching a whole bunch of like you know how to grow your channel and one chick was like um don't post videos all day I mean, I don't post videos all day, but because I'm off, because I do work full time, I'm able to record more. And I feel like YouTube is a outlet for me. It helps me, you know, I like the camera and I like reaching other people like me who like like looking at my channel or whatever just like i watch other people's channels so i feel like you sh you can um upload however many videos you want so whatever i didn't really like that but to each his own um i was kind of down about how many subscribers i have but at the end of the day i'm not even worried about it anymore because <clears throat> a lot of people I saw was have been on YouTube one to two years and they have like only 500 subscribers or 100 subscribers. It doesn't really matter to me. I'm not on here to um, do this full time and make a job. Like, I mean, of course it would be nice, you know, for someone to be like, oh, can you review this for me or um to get to that level but i'm just starting out i'm not looking for anything so i just like being on youtube and doing things that i like to do like i i really will be revamping my channel as soon as i get everything like i'm on a budget i'm doing things the best that i can and also like i'm trying like something out new with my lighting because i have tried all kind of stuff and like i had a i don't even want to get into that but um so what I did was I took my camera and I flipped it so that the light could show on me and it's rigged all kind of type of ways. So whatever. I mean, I feel like it's pretty good. You can see me. So yeah, but um, my husband put together my bookshelf. It is so beautiful and I'm going to be doing a DIY. I'm going to decorate the hell out of it and it's going to be so pretty and that probably be my new background. So yeah, excuse me while I drink my apple juice. But yeah, so, um, <clears throat> also, what else was I going to do? Oh, um, I'm going to, I am not a professional makeup artist at all. I do my makeup for me. If it's me, if it's my face, um, it's, it's like, I've really gotten good at it. Of course I've picked up tips, but I'm not a professional makeup artist. I'm not on here trying to do tutorials on how you're supposed to do this, like, I'm not like if you're subscribed to my channel, get ready with me videos or get ready with me videos. I'm just showing you how I do what I do on a daily basis. So today I am washing my one of my version um, human wigs that I've made and it's deep conditioning right now. So I'm just going to put on a synthetic wig and the one I'm going to put on today is this one. It's called Riley. 
It's by Free Trust Equal. There's a ton of reviews on YouTube about it. Um, it's in color 99J. So, basically, it's a lace front. Combs on synthetic wigs, to me, are not my friend. They thin out your edges when you wear them. If you're like me and you, I like I, on the weekends, if I'm not at work, I don't really wear my units. Sometimes I wear my real hair at, at, at work, and if I do, it's kind of like in two twists, goddess braids, or heat is not your friend, so I don't put a lot of heat in my hair. I think the last time I got, I put heat in my hair was when I got my hair um, relaxed for the first time um, in like months. Um, I did that um, like two or three weeks ago, and I, it had to be done. Like, I no offense to the natural community, power to you. Your hair is beautiful. It just doesn't work for me. It's better for me because my hair is like super thick, and like I can't maintain it. I can't transition. I can't do it. So just whatever. So I'm gonna go on this um hair journey. I'm I um shampoo and condition my hair every week and do a protein um treatment. I'm gonna keep my ends clipped and keep it braided or twisted up and rock my units. Um as long as you moisturize um oil seal take care of your ends you should be good to go. That's what works for me. So that's what works for me. Um but yeah, I my the video I had recorded earlier, I had did my edges. I don't feel like redoing that. I mean, all I did was take where it is. The Holy Grail edge control to me. I've tried almost every edge control. Design Essentials. I bought that cuz my hairstylist used it on me. Of course, it was wonderful. But I mean, it's like 13-14. dollars I can't, you know, buy that all the time and um I've tried. I mean, I'm not like a cheapskate, but I have three children, so I mean, I'm I do what works for me. So, not knocking anyone who's only doing high end products. That's not me. Um, but if I like something, I like it. So, I've tried Hicks Edge Control. I've tried um cur Control Paste, Curl Paste. That works good, especially for people who are natural. I think you would like that. Um. Argan Oil, Olive Oil, Gorilla Snot. I've tried every edge control there is, uh, except for another one that I want to try, but I haven't got my hands on it yet. I think it's called Ebin, E-B-I-N, um, edge control. But this one right now I'm using is Silk Elements. This lays my edges like no other, and now that like my edges are really relaxed, even before I got a relaxer, like, I don't have kinky, kinky, kinky hair, so it, even before I got it relaxed, my edges just laid, but now this lays it like no other. So yeah, I just take a little bit, and I just kind of, I mean, I don't want them to look like, like, um, I don't know, like, you took something and they're just like, ugh, I don't want that look, but, um, I don't want them, like, it depending on what type of hair I'm having curly hair that I'm not gonna do anything to my edges because it looks more natural but because the unit that I'm rocking today is kind of straight I want my edges to be a little straight so yeah so yeah this is Riley and she's in the color 99J I already brushed her out I could brush her out again I'm not sure too sure if the camera's gonna pick up the lighting but I'm gonna put her on um, I've had this wig for maybe like six or seven months. I don't wear, I wear my wigs like anywhere from one day out of a week or like two to three. If I really like the wig, maybe a week, that's it. And then I, I have to switch them out because as you know, if you're a true wig, wig wearer, the more you wear a wig, the mattier, tangular, shedding, all of that crap, and it's not going to last, so... Um, I mean, I know some people who like wear wigs and, um, they love the wig. And if you find one like that, that you absolutely love, then I would suggest buying like three of the same wig and rotate them out because that way you can get the most wear out of them and they can last six months to a year because you're switching them out. You're not wearing them all the time. So, yeah, so I'm just going to brush it up and this is like a a yakky texture so it really looks like 
African American relaxed or blown out hair. And this color is called 99J if I haven't said that already. It's because, and I think I wore this wig for like two or three days. Then I stopped because once a week, like once I start seeing that bush at the end and that that's it. I'm retiring it. So yeah, this wig's been back. And store your wigs. Wherever your wigs come in, store it in that. Store it in that. That's the best advice I could give you. Okay. So yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to start my um makeup. This is not a tutorial. This is me getting ready. Um, my scar is healing up nicely. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me see if I can adjust the camera. Can you see? Like, it really is. It's still sore and kind of puffy, but it's really healing up good. Excuse my lips. They're, tr they're dry. I have a moisturizer on them. And, like, the previous lipstick I wore the other day, like, I've tried to scrub that off. And because my lips were so dry, it, like, sit in there. <sighs> Whatever. I'm human I'm not perfect so yeah so this is like it's really full and I love like this like the fair faucet I like that and then I rock it to the side a little bit I've never wore it in the middle um yeah and like to maintain my curls sometimes when if they if they fall out I take like um a leave-in spray and I gently spray it on there and I put a flexi rod in it and let it sit for a couple of hours and then the curl comes back so yeah I mean I'm not a hair guru but I know how to take care of some hair like I know about hair trust I won't tell you anything wrong okay so the first thing I do is moisturize my face in which I've already done that because I had previously did this video and I use this can you guys see uh, yeah, I'm sorry. This is off the subject. I can't wait to get my camera because this is so rigged up. And then, like, I had to start back recording because I was recording on, like, this little app. And I guess I didn't have enough data or enough space in my phone internal. So, I had to stop and record on my camera. That's just on my phone. So, that's just so... I hate that, but whatever. So, yeah. This is compared to Pond's. It's a dry screen dry skin cream it's really good watching back some of my videos I said like in the last video I think like 100 million times I'm sorry that's just how I speak I am me I'm sorry if you don't like me I'm sorry so anyway the first thing I do I have all my makeup kits like on the floor right here because I don't want to have to keep getting up and stuff because I saw where that can be annoying Sorry. So I'm going to find my makeup, my eyebrow pencil, and the eyebrow pencil I use, and I've tried a lot of eyebrow pencils. The eyebrow pencil that I use that works best for me is the Perfect Eyebrow Pencil by Absolute New York. I also have tried the Anastasia Dip Brow. I still use that sometimes depending on the look that I'm going for, but I don't want my eyebrows like super dark because it looks weird on me. Like it looks like I'm burnt or something and I don't like that. So yeah. So in my eyebrow, my eyebrows need to be shaped really bad. I don't mess with my eyebrows. I've done it before and jacked them up like I had my eyebrows like this. It was really sad. So yeah, it has a spoolie on one end. Oh, and this color is <clears throat> dark brown. And guys, please pay attention to the shelf life of a product. Learn that in beauty school, and uh, that helps a lot because, like, a lot of people be having products for four and five years, and then the shelf life of the product is 12 months to maybe 24 months, but you've had the product for five years. It's not going to work the same. Don't do it. Just letting you know. Anyway, it has a spoolie on this end, and I just kind of brush my eyebrows out. I'm probably going to get my eyebrows shaped this weekend. Me and my husband going Christmas shopping. I know I've been saying that, like, forever because I'm super excited. <laughs> I'm really kind of excited to go back to work, too, because I'm bored out of my mind. And what I do first is, like, I brush them up. 
For my wedding, I had a makeup artist do my eyebrows. That girl is so talented. Sugar Honey Iced Tea. I know you're probably not subscribed to my channel. But girl, you a beast. And she, I had already been using this pencil, but when she was doing the eyebrows, she was like telling us about how many different things that she's tried. And she said she went to the beauty supply store one day and she picked up this and she loved it because it's, you have more control with it. And you can thin it out, juice it up, build it up, whatever. So I had, was like, oh great, I have this. So yeah, this is what I use. And, so, and I also have this. This is by NYX. It's an eyebrow kit, um, cake powder, the color dark brown. And it has a eyebrow powder. And it also has like the primer for your eyebrow. I don't use all of that. Sometimes I use this when I want a more dramatic look. But what I basically do is I go in and kind of like... My eyebrows are so awful, y'all. I just build it up. Like, I just kind of, because they're not super thick, and I just hate thin eyebrows. Sometimes I get my eyebrows perfect. Not, like, perfect all the way together, but it, it just depends on the day that I'm having. Like, today don't seem like a good day, because it's not looking right. As a matter of fact... I'm going to pause this video and I'm not going to sit here and take 15 minutes on doing my eyebrows. So hold up. When I come back, my eyebrows will be done. Okay, I'm back. So yeah, um, I just did my concealer over my eyebrows and the flash is making them look crazy. But I'm going to blend it all out. But after I did my eyebrows, I mean, they're not perfect, but they're okay because there's only so much you can hide with concealer when they're bushy. And they're growing in all kind of crazy. And I'm scared to do it and mess them up. So I'm going to go get them done. But I take my concealer, NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer. And a concealer brush. And I just kind of clean them up. So yeah. After that, I take this knockoff beauty blender. And I blend everything out. Um, I need a hair clip. This is getting in my way. <clears throat> yeah I blend everything out and don't worry I mean I do see that it's like you can see it but you won't after I put my makeup on so anyway yeah that's that's what I do for my eyebrows they're okay I'm probably gonna go actually today now that I just really see how awful they are because they are pretty awful um, I'm also going to do my tear ducts, and I had a person request, Miss Shayla Patan Edwards. If you watch this video, girl, don't say I ain't never show you nothing. <laughs> she's a sweetheart. She's beautiful. She's so blessed. She just had a, she had a beautiful baby boy. He's so perfect. And his name is Aiden, just like my baby's name is Aiden. So I was like, you tried to copy off of me. <laughs> she was like, no, I didn't. Okay. All right. So the next thing I do is <clears throat> I never knew the importance of color correcting. I never knew when I went in um, beauty supply stores or wherever and I saw all these different concealer palettes and... Um, you know, just different HD LA Girl high definition concealers. And I saw green and yellow. I was like, what the hell? But yes, this will help you correct any dark spots. And I don't have a lot of dark spots, but I have some like really underneath my eye. So I just go in. Oh, and put this on under my spots around my mouth and under my eyes my cheeks are naturally like this like it kind of sometimes it looks like contour but it's not my dad gave me that ridiculous one of those ridiculous birthmarks I also have premature gray I know I told y'all that in another video so 
yeah. But I don't even do a lot of this because I'd be scared. I mean, I just do enough. And then I have like this line across my nose. I think it comes from me doing this. I can't hide my facial expressions. I work at a <clears throat> beautiful plasma center. Get all types of lovely people. And I cannot hide my expressions on some cases. It's a habit. So yeah, I just go in and blend this in. <clears throat> and remember, this is a get ready with me chit chat video, so it's kind of long. Okay, then after I do that, I feel like it's all blended in. I take my makeup my foundation today I'm using doing smooth fit me by Maybelline I put it on my palm of my hand I don't use a lot and I just put it all over my face This video is going to be so long. It's going to be like over 30 minutes. <laughs> I'm sorry. But hey. And I just take the rest of the product and I blend everything in. Yeah, I don't know if I like this, this blender thing I found. And I had like a pack of three. So yeah, I may like this do-it-yourself DIY makeup thing. I put all my brushes in here. I really like the e.l.f. stipple brush. I don't know if you're supposed to use this for this. Because, you know, I'm not a professional makeup artist. But this works for me. So yeah. I think everything's blended in. I want to do that makeup, that five minute makeup challenge. <clears throat> I would have to have everything like laid out because it literally doesn't take me long to do this. It's just like long because I'm talking through it. Okay, so then after that, I don't really do all that highlight contour. I take um, either Fawn or Cool Tan and I just put some underneath my eyes. Like so. And then sometimes I do this. I don't really put a lot on my forehead. So I rub my forehead a lot. And then, of course, I go in and blend it. Blend, blend, blend. <clears throat> so, yeah. After I do that, time for my blush. Oh, shoot. And I just take a big fluffy brush. Um, this is by e.l.f. <clears throat> and I think I'm just going to use this palette by Santee. It has like six little colors. Yeah, I'm so bored. And I usually use this color. I mix these two, or if I'm like doing a bright, I do that. And I put it on my cheeks. <clears throat> Works best for me. Okay, and then after I do that, 
I was looking for my highlight. It's I don't know if it's a highlighter, but I use it for a highlighter. It's the Elf Shimmer, and I take some and I like. Oh, I forgot to put my setting powder. Dang it. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Who cares? But uh, after I do my concealer, I usually put like a powder and I let it sit under here. But I, I didn't do it. And I just take like a little bit. That's all you need. So pretty. I use that and then I take my... I don't know what brush this is. And I just blend it in. It's like so pretty. Alright. I was going to do false eyelashes today, but I'm not. <laughs> Next time. Okay, so now it's time for my eye look. <sighs> Please tell me I have my eyeshadow thing right here. Uh, and of course I don't so yes I'll be right back okay I'm back y'all so yeah I have this is a knockoff to the naked palette but it's um like a dupe bare tin shadow eye palette I got this from a clothing store I believe it may have been rainbow or I don't know city trends I don't remember but it has like these pretty new colors and I'm going to be using my, can you guys see, yeah you can see, I'm going to use this color and probably this color mixed in and kind of like put it in my crease and I just, I'm one to hold my eye. I don't know why I do it. It just seems like everything comes out easier. Yeah. It's a really pretty color. And you mix the two. And then I do the same right here. Voila. And then I take, uh, I could use that same brush, but I have another little blending brush. This is a blending eyeshadow brush. And I take, like, the lightest color in the palette, and I just sweep it across my eyelid. Because I'm just doing kind of a natural look today. Same with this side. Voila. And then I take my brush, doesn't matter which one you use, it use with my concealer or my other one, and I just try to get any fallout that I had. Alright, and then I take a little small brush and do my tear duct. Shayla, this is for you. So if you fast forward the video, this part is for you. So like... Tear ducts for a pop of color. I take any highlighter, any type of shimmer, and I just put it like so. One eye always comes out better than the other. It's weird. Alright, uh, y'all, this video is 30 minutes. I'm sorry. Are y'all mad? Bam! Shayla. Shayla. Got that? Alright, and I'm going to take, as I kind of see, it's like not. I just kind of blend it in more. Alright, I'm not doing any type of, usually I take like a white eyeliner and I put it in my waterline to make my eyes pop. I'm not doing that today. I'm taking a regular eyeliner. <clears throat> you know, I've been talking about my Ipsy bag. The only thing that Ipsy bag I didn't like was that eyeliner because it's not dark enough. It's called Wild Cherry and it's supposed, it's like black, but 
it ain't no jet black so the eyeliner I'll be using today sometimes I use two is the one by Ramel it's retractable I'm almost out it's this one I don't know if you can see I told you what it was so I can't do eyeliner without holding my eye I praise people who know how to do that usually it's all the professional makeup artists not even all the professional makeup artists but anyone who knows how to do it kudos to you and I just what I do bam and then of course I do around here like if I don't wear makeup for the day I have to have an eyeliner because I feel like I look sick without eyeliner. Like, sick. Then this is another one. I'm going to go try to find this one. It's a uh, Mark My Eyes LA Girl. Long lasting, extreme bold eyeliner. I love this. It's the best. And I'm trying to so y'all can see. I go over it sometimes to make it more bold. Because it's like really bold. Can y'all see? My eyelashes are super long. Okay. Then after that, because I'm not applying, um, I'm not applying false eyelashes, I'm just going to use a regular mascara. Um, this is the one by Ramel. Scandal Eyes. The other mascara that I got, I already told you guys how I like it, but it's in my purse and I don't feel like getting up. So yeah, eyelash uh, mascara, you just build until you can't build no more. But I don't need all that today because my eyeliner is so bold. Can't really see my lashes anyway, unless I had on some fake ones. So yeah, I just put on a little bit and I'm about, I want to try to put on some uh, bottom eyelashes. I think that's so pretty. Okay. So that's a, that's it. The next thing for me to do. This video is 32 minutes, y'all. Oh, my gosh. But I have fun talking to y'all. The next thing I do is my lips. Um, Because I have on, like, this red burgundy 99J hair, I don't want to do a neutral lip because I feel like I will look ashy. So I'm going to do a matte... LA Girl Pigment Gloss in color Stunner. And I've already moisturized my lips. Don't put on matte lipstick without moisturizing your lips because your lips look even more chappy. So yeah, I'm going to put on this color. Someone's calling me. I don't... Can y'all see that on my screen? Let me see. I don't know if y'all saw that number or not. I'm going to edit. So it doesn't matter. So yeah, I just go. It's such a hitty color. See, I don't have teeth. A trick. I always do that. This dries matte. Like, if I put on another color of this, it ain't going nowhere. That's why I like matte lipstick, but then it can be drying to me, preferably. So, yeah. That's my look, y'all. Where's my brush? Fix my hair. I 
So I'm going to take like a selfie in the sunlight so you guys can really see the color because it's really pretty. But yeah, this is my look. Let um...